And then you, you worked again with Michael Haneke on Amour, uh, the Oscar-winning uh, uh, movie. Um, and you're playing another character who is facing very unpleasant truths about her aging mother and, and fighting with her father about it and, and asking all the right questions. But again, you're not pulling back from showing her you know, as a selfish person, too. Um, talk about that character that you're playing in, in Amour. Well, um, in, in, uh, in that film, uh, Michael Andoker shows this uh, couple who inevitably goes towards their death, especially the woman, because she's sick. And by the way, uh, I can't go on this conversation without saying that Emmanuel Riva just, just passed away two weeks ago. And, and she was, I had been on stage with Emmanuel in, in, a, in a media, which we did in a Avignon, in the festival, in the theater, in, and, and eventually in Paris, to the Odeon Theater. She was, she was not only an amazing actress, I mean, that everybody knows, but she was also a very, very unusual person. She was, uh, she was completely unique. Uh, more or less all actresses in the world are a little bit, I mean, they're all different, of course, but we have something in common. Emmanuel had nothing in common with anybody else. I mean, she was so unique. She was completely, uh, I don't know, she was in a different dimension, and I really liked her for that, because she was, she was doing her own way, and she was... Uh, very, very special. So in that film, I was uh, playing uh, uh, her daughter, and uh, and when my, my character shows up and understands that uh, my mother is very sick, it, it's just to show that where this couple is, there is something unreachable. They are in a region which no one can reach, in a way, not even their own daughter. And that's the cruelty of that scene and that moment between my character and my father, uh, Jean-Louis Tratignan. Because uh, uh, normally, you know, a daughter should have uh, the, the possible connection with his parents. But what Michael Haneke wanted to show in that film is that what ties those two people at this moment is um, inconceivable for someone else, even though it's their own daughter. So it's very cruel because she wants to help she wants but whatever she says my uh, sounds completely out of the question out of the the problem if i can say so and that's what you feel 